Okay, so I get it. I get it. We are all designers, all right? We are all designers. And, you know, and when it comes to mockups, we always want to download mockups from, you know, websites like Freepik and, you know, the other um, websites. But um, have you ever thought of having or creating your own custom mockups for your projects? Have you thought of creating your own mockups for, let's say, whatever um, branding or packaging design that you're working on? Have you thought of creating your own custom mockup for your project? So today we are going to create an amazing and simple Coca-Cola can mockup in Blender. All right. And the good side of creating your own mockup or creating a custom mockup is that you have free and total control over the final output. All right. And you are able to tweak, you know, a lot more than you can as compared to downloading a mockup from FreePick. So this tutorial is actually going to be very interesting and it's very simple. I assure you, it's very, very simple and short. So if you are interested, remember to hit the subscribe button and then, you know, like the video and don't forget to share with your friends as well. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we are in Blender. We are using Blender 3.0 and uh basically this is what we'll be creating today it's fairly simple so i broke down the process into five um simple steps so the first one is we are going to trace the curvature of the can all right and the second is that we are going to add the screw modifier to it and then a couple of other modifiers and then the third one is that we are going to um uv unwrap it we are going to unwrap it you know yeah and we'll talk about that when we get there the fourth is the texture and lighting and then the fifth point is the render okay so they are not really much just you know just a few things and then you know we go so first thing to do is to um, create a new file in blender in general um, in my case let, let me just save it in general so yeah so what you are going to do is that you are going to download an image from google or wherever you want just get a coca-cola can picture that you can trace the curvature from <clears throat> and in my case i am um, i already have one so <clears throat> i already have one so uh this is it uh yep this is what we have here So bring in your image into your scene. Shift A to bring in a plane. All right. And then tap into edit mode. Tap to go into your edit mode and then merge your vertices at the center. All right. M for merge. Then you choose center. So in the edit mode, we are going to take our vertex. All right. Bring it to the side of the can. The edge of the can. Sorry and we are going to start to extrude all right so e to extrude sorry e to extrude on the z axis like so all right let's and then extrude to create the curvature of the can like so like so yep and uh yep go here extrude e to extrude sorry e to extrude the axis e to extrude like so e to extrude x axis sorry so you see when you take a coca-cola can you'd notice that there is this dent on the edge of the of the inner um whatever so just you know extrude on the z axis down then we are going to you know extrude on the x axis extrude on the z axis a little bit and then extrude on the z axis again sorry x axis so extrude Extrude 
extrude, 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 and then extrude. And then the final one, let's extrude on the x-axis like so. Alright, so we are almost... I could say we are halfway done already. Okay, so this is what we want. Okay, this is what we want. What we want. And uh, so we are going to apply. So the next thing is to apply the screw modifier. Okay. So screw modifier. And boom. We, are, we already have our can already. We already have our can working. Alright. So to close this dish let's just move in a little bit like so moving 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 then let's close it let's yeah. like so and then the upper part let's Close it up like so. Okay, so we already have our can. Uh, move this up. Move it in like so. Okay, and um, I think we can add the subdivision modifier but for the sake of our uv unwrapping we are, we are going to keep it like so okay you add the sub subdivision modifier after we have unwrapped everything okay so the next thing is to um, convert it to a mesh and then we are going to unwrap it um, as an object okay so just select the object, then click on the object button convert to mesh okay and so now this is what we have this is the mesh we have so you can uh, select this side okay, select the sides and then fill them all right so this is what we have and for the uv so go to the uv editing panel or tab uv unwrapping is basically you know opening up something like the way you can open up a box like so all right so what we need to do is that we need to create um seams for blender to um, unwrap the objects with those seams okay so what you are going to do is that you are going to select this edge and then this edge so alt select alt select for all the edges around and then shift alt to select this as well and then um we need to select this side as well and then finally one edge that goes through it all like so so option maxim then select all you unwrap and so this is what we have for our unwrapped mesh okay so now we can go ahead sorry so now we can go ahead and then add our subdivision modifier to it and already you see that we have something going on right there okay so for the lighting and um, the next thing is our texture and lighting so for the lighting we need to create a backdrop for our lighting so shift a bring in a plane bring the plane down like so all right and then scale it up let's say five 
and then tap it and to go into your edit mode extrude on the z axis like so and then we are going to give our plane a bevel modify like so right click shade smooth let's bring it down a little bit So, um, not forgetting our camera so so for the camera you can you know choose any any angle you want and then control or zero to snap to view and um, i'm going to change the resolution to 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels and i'm going to zoom in a little bit more cheesy so all right so for our texture it's fairly simple actually and uh, create a new material for the object and we'll be needing two materials <clears throat> sorry we'll be needing two materials for our object all right so Material 002 and then material 003. What's, what's material 001? Or oh, whatever. So tab to go into the edit mode and then select this face. Let's see, select. Then assign material 003 to it so you can now use any color then assign so you have something like this okay and um, what we want to do is that first of all um, I used an HDRI for my lighting and then a bit of a spotlight so for the HDRI you can go to um, this website texture uh, sorry HDRI heaven you can get in you know, a lot of um, HDRIs over there then come here and then select on the background node shift s to switch then choose the environment texture all right so with the environment texture open and then you choose your environment texture all right which is your hdri so blender stuff hdri images so i used i think i used this one I'm going to be rendering with EV so sorry cycles so this is what we have all right let's rotate it a little bit like so okay so for our texturing um, let's select the first material okay and then let's give it uh so let me choose the color from here uh yep. yeah so let's the color like so then select this select this like so and so you have a completely red can so for the um coca-cola label downloaded this on um, i think um pinterest <clears throat> and i converted it to black and white because we are going to take it through the mix rgb node all right and so I'm going to bring it in here okay and then select this and then control t to give it um if you don't have the node wrangler add-on enabled you can go and then enable it in the add-on section okay so connect your texture node your your image your image texture into the factor um circuit all right and then we are going to choose 
um, white color for color one. Then color two is going to be red. Okay, so shift select and then you have this now i think we should it's supposed to be the other way around like so like so sorry Like so so this is what we want okay so connect this to their principal bs to their principal bsdf okay and then shift control click and uh nope this is not what we want so let's let me switch switch to ev so i can have a better view of what i'm doing So back to the UV editing tab. Uh, select. So we need this side and then this side. Okay. So select that. And then let's rotate it in such a way that it will fit in. Okay. So like so. Nope, nope, nope. So select scale like so. So switch back into this switch back to cycles and uh, we are going to tweak a couple of things. First of all, Let's increase our transmission. Nope. Too much. 0 0.4. So, nope. Um, so, what I want to do is that uh, we are going to give it a metallic shade like so say zero point eight then give it a bit of roughness like zero point five uh let's say zero point one five and that should do the trick but um we are going to do the same thing for this side. One zero point one five, like so. Just so it can 
you know blend in so the blending isn't working and uh So this is what we have for our Coca-Cola can. The reference, let's bump it up. Alright, and um let's give it a bit of clear coats. See so and uh, the sheen, let's give it five. And uh, what's other? So basically, this is what we have a simple Coca Cola. Uh, can mock up fairly simple, fairly. So, I just want to do a few things. Let's see if the X put it also. Okay, so let's fit it like so. And um, poof, poof. Yep. So now we have a simple Coca Cola can mock up. Simple, very um, realistic, I guess. But yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it. And uh, it's good, it's good. So for the final tip. For the final tip you know we are just going to um, go to the render section and then we are going to so for our viewport we can leave our viewports like so our maximum samples for the render let's say 250 and uh the noise here yeah, yeah, we need to denoise it and uh what else what else what else light parts so the diffuser keep it at four glossy I need it to be glossy so let's bump it up to like eight and we don't have any transmission going on in there so transmission zero volume zero yep uh so eight yep 12 transparent we don't have any transparent so 12 is okay and um a color management uh look high contrast uh is it too much nope it's not too much use curves let's give it a bit of make it a bit cool like so yep yep open shading language so this is our blender can mockup fairly simple very um you know simple i guess and uh you know i'm sure you can use it for let's say malt malt mock up or maybe pepsi any kind of product you can you know use the label on it for your mock-up so yeah basically this is it so if you enjoy this tutorial kindly hit the subscribe button because boy it means a lot to me you know support your guy by what i'm saying 
yeah so hit the subscribe button like the video and don't forget to share to your friends as well share with your co-designers let them know about this yep so thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video